And this is the part that hurts. This is why people want to write this off and act like, no, this isn't real. The difference between you and them. There was one thing I could do that I could have known earlier to grow my business. This is that message. If you have had a struggle with trying to grow, if you've if you've thought there wasn't enough employees, I don't think there's enough money, have all these things, all these challenges in your business. This is the one thing that I would look at that I would put into my life earlier that would have changed, it would have exploded, it would have grown my business. And this message has really been prompted by, I just did a, a GrowCom call about this last Friday. It was really, really good, really well received. We got some really cool questions afterwards that really sparked my interest around this topic. That's what made me know I need to say this message for a YouTube video. But you can listen to this message and you can say one over here, be like, no, that's total bullshit. Or you can be over here on this side and say, I'm gonna listen to this, I'm gonna act on this. Because in reality, I I don't care what side you're on investing and understanding that this is everything in your business is in your life that will take you so far you can act like no it's not but the reality is it is everything mindset is what we're talking about your mindset the way you believe the way you perceive what you see what you think what you do is everything. You always see these people that are landing these huge jobs and they're hiring all kinds of people or they're growing like crazy. You know the difference between you and them? And this is the part that hurts. This is why people want to write this off and act like, no, this isn't real. The difference between you and them is they believe they can and you don't. And that's why this message sucks because it hurts that you see people doing shit and you wanna be doing it and you realize you just don't believe in yourself enough. The difference between selling a big job and not selling a big job is the amount of belief, having those and not having those. Having a lot of work and growing your company and not is the difference between believing you can and that you can't. You know, I think it was Henry Ford that said, don't quote me on that, maybe check it, leave it in the comments below if it was Henry Ford. The person who believes he can and the person that believes he can't can both be the same person and they are both right basically stating that it's all in what you believe and whatever you believe will become real because what you put in here is inevitably what you put out and that's what comes out when you sell jobs that's what comes out when you grow your company that's what comes out as you talk as a leader look at these two versions of me there can be this version of me in sales shoulders down eyes kind of down talking to a customer a little bit probably not kind of keeping eye contact yeah that's something we can do um We've done some of this before. That's that's probably something we can take on. Versus up, listening, intentive, eye contact. Keeping eye contact even when they're looking away because they're not as secure with themselves. Yeah, that's definitely something we can take on. We've done a lot of this before. I've got really great people on my team. I also have other outside resources that if we get into anything can help us. My bottom line, my goal as a business owner is to bring you an exceptional product and an exceptional experience. If we could wave a wand over this, what are the major issues we could fix that would make this project the best thing ever? You can sign on today. Which one of those two people gets more work? Do you see the difference? One person believes and one person doesn't. I saw Keith Kalfas talking on a video. I haven't talked to Keith forever. Every once in a while I talked to him and it was so interesting. I commented on the video and I've seen him say this before, just not believing that he was worth it at a time. And this is so true. A lot of people don't believe they're worth it. They don't value themselves. That was a big part of my call. I'm looking at my call notes. We don't believe we're worth it. And therefore we devalue ourselves and we don't sell as much as we can. And we don't believe too, we don't believe we're capable of it. Okay, we don't believe we're capable of maybe some of these big jobs. Bottom line is you have to decide you're capable of it. You have to decide you're worth it. If you wanna grow, you wanna get bigger. If you're watching this because the original issues, not enough money, not growing the business, having these challenges. If you wanna grow and you wanna get bigger, you have to decide you are worth it. And what you have to do is you have to look at who do I have to become to be the person where I wanna go. Maybe you're watching this, you want a million dollar business. Maybe you wanna have a $200,000 business. Maybe you wanna have a $500,000 business. Maybe you ever wanna have 10. 100. Who do I have to become? That's what's great about this life is this life we get to live that we only get to live once. We get to look at the people we want to become. And we get to do all these things to go on that journey. Maybe I need to work on my mind. Like this, this whole call that we did was about mind and working on your mind is really all of it. Where do I have to become mentally? Okay. So what do I have to do? Do I have to visualize meditation? My health needs to be better to be there because my energy level to keep my mentality high needs to be better. What are all these things I have to do to get there? So many times we, we don't value ourselves enough and we don't think we're worth it. But in reality, there isn't a difference between you and the person who is worth it except for your mind. Decide you're worth it. 
bring more than everyone else to the table. Work your ass off harder. You don't have to be smarter. You don't have to be better looking. You just have to be willing to work on your mind. Know that what I'm fucking talking about today is everything and pour into it. If you don't know shit, educate yourself. Read books. Go to conferences. Don't think everything's snake oil and bullshit because that's what's keeping you where you're at. Become a part of like my group, GrowCom. Become a part of like Lion's Den or Arte, like some of these other crazy big groups where you can learn to be a better business owner, a better person, all these things. Invest in yourself. Know that mindset's number one. I did this with books. I just didn't do it with enough stuff. I didn't put myself around badass people early enough. And that's what slowed me down. Because now we're in Florida. And I didn't know that business could go this fast and I didn't have the belief that you could do what we're doing now. You know, it took me, it took me three or four years to create what we've created in nine months here in Florida. This year we're going to do in 450 to 500,000 in nine months, starting up a business in a different location. And that's really not based off of me being a super skilled person. It's me believing that it's possible and seeing it done before. And now being able to create what it took us years to create in Illinois in months in a new state. And then that's just going to multiply. If you're still watching, if you're still watching this, that's what you get. You get to become that next level and then keep looking up to what's the next level. There's going to be a version of me five years from now that's like, damn, I can't believe he thought 500,000, 400,000 was a big deal. I did 5 million in months. And that's how this goes. So this is all mindset. That's everything. Leave it in the comments below. Where has your mindset affected you? Where has it been negative to you? Where has it challenged you? And how has this helped you?